Mr. Bumble, Barnet FC, third generation B. Me uncle, me granddad have also been a Mr. Bumble mascot. I've been doing it for 11 seasons now. Barnet is my life, you know what I mean? Born and bred, um, do anything for the club. Um, so if I wasn't being the mascot, I'd be on the terraces cheering them on every week. Mr Bumble's very first outing was against the Arsenal, believe it or not, and the Gunnosaurus come down to try and introduce us and show us the ways of being a mascot, but I didn't need Mr Gunnosaurus, you know what I mean? i just done my own thing. Typical Saturday match day for me would be I check the team news, I try and gauge who will be playing, I try and look at the opposition sometimes. If there's a little element where I think I can wind him up, he might help the team. Perhaps have a little dig and like I say, get that one-upmanship for the bees. When we're getting ready, we're right next to the dressing room so we can hear the home and away teams. We can really feel the tension. And then once we're out onto the pitch, the crowd are there. You know, I see their faces light up. Wow, well, Mr Bumble, they chant to us. I mean, I get them going. After all, I'm one of them. By being Mr Bumble, you end up in some strange situations. The mascot Grand National, all walk of life racing that race you know mascots from you know the heart foundation uh testicular cancer there's a pair of testicles that run against us um you know there's been ringers before olympic athletes people pushing each other you stand on someone if they're in your way by any means really anything goes i'm very competitive obviously i want to win for barnet as Mr Bumble, I had some things I wanted to achieve. The mascot race, won it twice. Should just reach over and pick it up, do you think? Or the Leicester Finch Trophy. I was very fortunate in last year. That, to me, you know, that's the Barnet people voted that. Now, how many times do you win the same trophy as Edgar Davids? 35 seconds on, 25 seconds rest, we get left. Covid, you know, once we come out the other side, you know, will everyone still be there? Will we still have the same team? Will we be competing again? Will there ever be football again? Hmm. One of the biggest problems is going to be the handshake. I'm so hands-on, you know, them kids are reaching out. They want a high-five. Even their mums, they love a hug. I'm just going to have to do a virtual one or give it the old dab. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know.